Hey y'all, it's Dr. Chari, Christian Psychologist. Listen, are you emotionally agile in your relationship? I know you're like, what does that mean? All right, so think about agility when it comes to an athlete. You have to be agile enough to jump. You have to be agile enough to sprint. You have to be agile enough to take a long, steady pace. Sometimes you have to have power. Sometimes you have to have finesse. Well, you have to have the same set of tools when it comes to your relationship. Sometimes you have to show compassion. Sometimes you have to stand your ground. Sometimes you have to uh, tell people to score. You have to let them know it's not working for me. Sometimes you have to be patient. Sometimes you have to be in a hurry. You have to use a lot of tools, a lot of tools in your relationship to be agile enough to make it work. Now, what? why do we need emotional agility? Because when we're not, we just shut down in relationships. We say, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. There's no point in talking because all we do is argue. Chances are the emotional agility of one or both couples is not there. Now, what does that mean, that term? That term is a term that's coined by psychologist Dr. Susan David out of Harvard Medical School. That means being able to apply the right emotion to the right person in the right situation at the right time. All right. So being able to do all that makes you a better partner. So, for example, if your daughter comes home and she just runs straight upstairs and slams the door and you say, open this door. She's like, go away, dad. Leave me alone. If you if you don't have enough tools to be emotionally agile, if you don't only have one tool of anger. All right. And you say, open this door right now. I'm going to ground you. I'm going to take your phone. All right. You miss you miss what's really going on with her. Anyone that has teen girls know this can happen any day of the week. There's so much that happens in the life of a teen girl. You miss using the tool, going to another tool in the toolkit, which is investigation or compassion. And say, hey babe, this is not like you. Or hey, baby girl, this is not like you. What's going on? Did everything go okay? No, they were teasing me. Or I became a meme. Or I don't like, the, I don't like this pimple on my face. Or I got cut from the chilling team. Or, 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 or the boys at school didn't let me say what I need to say. Or there's some drama probably with my other friend. She said this about, I don't know. You know, y'all understand. For those of you that work with teens or, or have teen girls, you understand. All right? So if you don't have enough emotional agility to know which tool to use, you can easily mess up your relationship with your husband or your wife. One mistake a lot of wives make is that husband will open up to them about something, all right? And instead of getting more out of him, instead of having legs to that conversation and asking him, what does he mean? What does he need? Instead, you will try to come in with an example of your own and you'll talk about when that happened to you and your husband will feel like, man, every single time I try to talk about what's going on with me, you end up talking to me about something going on with you or something that happened with your girlfriend. Focus on me. All right. And one mistake we make as men is that you'll tell us about a problem. Maybe there's a guy at work that's being rude or disrespectful or condescending or just you having a power play at work. And then we'll say, you want me to go up there and have a conversation with him? You want me to let my presence know, let him know that you covered? And you'll be like, no. And then we'll be like, why would you tell me about a problem you don't want me to fix? Well, because in the toolkit of emotional agility, you just want us to listen. You just want us to hold an umbrella over your head while you talk about the rain because you're a big girl, you're a grown woman, you know how to fix your own problems. You just want our listening ear, not us being your daddy and trying to solve it.